Welcome back. This week, Washington State University is preparing to welcome its largest freshman class in its history, but the increase is leaving some upperclassmen without a dorm and on a wait list for on-campus housing. From G's Amanda Rowley is in Pullman tonight and shares how the university is working to fix this before classes begin. Yeah, good dad. <laughs> yeah. Brandon, Dawson, and Alex are among the many freshmen moving into Washington State University residence halls this year. I know our grandparents went here, so like we're carrying on the tradition. So. Freshmen are required to live on campus. And this year, WSU officials say that leaves 237 upperclassmen on a wait list for a dorm room. As of yesterday, we offered rooms or beds to about 85 of them and only 10 of them took us up on the offer so far. Phil Weiler, spokesperson for WSU, says it's likely many upperclassmen on the wait list have already started finding off-campus housing. But the university has still made a few changes to housing in order to accommodate the largest freshman class in its history. The first being the university has opened Waller Hall, which closed in 2015. For female students, the university is converting single rooms here at Orton Hall into double rooms, which is actually the number of students the hall originally accommodated. Some students are being offered a 25% discount on housing fees if they volunteer to be placed in a three student room. There are cases, for example, where you have three friends from high school and they all want to live together and um, it, it it's a win-win for them. They want to live in, in a triple. They get a great savings, and it just gives us a little bit more flexibility. In the last 10 years, WSU built three new residence halls. This added 800 beds to on-campus housing. Most housing directors are going to want to have enough capacity that if they want to take a building offline for some reason, they can do it without causing disruption. Weiler adds some 15 resident advisors who traditionally get their own room will now have roommates. Move-in day is tomorrow and in preparation for the influx of students and their families descending on the Pullman campus, the university will have an army of volunteers ready to help with the move. In Pullman, Amanda Rowley, CREM 2 News.